I greet you in the name of the throne God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. It is so good to see all of these beautiful faces. I see some faces I haven't seen in a long time. I see a few faces I haven't seen, I have never seen. I 
I love you already. You don't have to prove anything to me. God said, God said to the world, you got to party for it to spread the camp. And then he saw people who were broken. He saw folks who couldn't walk and gave them the ability to walk. He saw people who couldn't see and gave them sight. He saw people who were broken and he fixed them. And so, with all of these works, folks started listening to him. People wanted to follow him. And the greatest miracle of all, right before he moved to Jerusalem, was that he raised Lazarus from the dead. He raised Lazarus from the dead. And when he did that, oh, everybody from all around wanted to be a part of this movement. And Jesus marched into Jerusalem, the seat of power. And folks gathered behind him. Last Sunday, we had Palm Sunday, we had the branches. Hosanna, the son of David, has arrived. They thought it was a political refuge. They thought it was some sort of military, economic, political takeover. It was quiet. I wonder, I wonder if anybody in this room is overwhelmed by our political situation. Well, uh, our economic situation. See, that's what their minds were. Their minds were focused on the material, on the physical, on power, on status, on class, on wealth. Who's going to make the decisions around here? And so when they marched in with Jesus, could you imagine how they felt? When the power structure came up to Jesus and falsely arrested him, Falsely in prison. Could you imagine that sense of emptiness? Like, wait a minute, we marched in here for this? <laughs> for you to just lay down and die? But I believe that there's a power that lies within each and every one of them. And that power came straight from God. To be a Christian this Easter morning, Means to be empowered by God. How many of you are This is a very so quiet trial. Are you with me? Yeah. Can, can you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we said in South South Chicago. Can you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I want you to know that you have power. Jesus was arrested, he was placed on that cross, and he had nails. Hammered into his hand. He had nails hammered into his feet. And he was on that cross. We know that he was totally God. And he was totally human. And he felt that pain. And in that time, while he was sitting there in agony, agony, he felt like how we feel sometimes. Forsaken. Overwhelmed. He screamed out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I wonder if you've ever felt forsaken by God. You ever have a plan and the plan just falls apart and you have to suffer. God knows how you feel. God knows what it feels like to feel forsaken, to feel scared. Scripture tells us that Jesus gave up his spirit. He looked up in the air and said, it is finished. And he gave up his spirit. Sometimes in life, you will be defeated. Sometimes in life, you're going to have to just give up. You know, if you've been hitting your head against the wall over and over and over again, and it don't be like the sing is not on the it's okay to let it go. It's okay. On Good Friday, we had the nails out. And we nailed all of our problems, all of our frustrations, all of our losses. We nailed them to the cross, and that moment, we let them die. Sometimes you got to let stuff die. Sometimes you just got to let it go and say, hey, it is what it is. But I wonder if you think that is the end. I wonder if you think that that is the end. 
Here is the good news of Jesus Christ. Here is the good news of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, as Christians, as those who believe in the power of the resurrection, you shall never be afraid. You shall never be afraid. You should not worry. You should not be overwhelmed by anxiety. You should not be gripped by fear. Because even when you lose, you win. Even when you feel overwhelmed and you got to give up, you still win. See, Jesus came to teach us how to live eternal, eternal life, to give us everlasting life. But between now and everlasting, we should have peace. We should have power. And we should know. I want you to know that you got the power to see things that don't exist as if they do. Yeah, I want you to know that you got the power to make miracles happen in your life. Why do I feel like I should get Can I get amen? Yeah. Do you believe that you got the power to make miracles happen in your life through the Holy Spirit? Do you believe that? Y'all over here look good. Y'all. People on this side of the church, do you believe that you have the power? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. I promise I ain't going to preach I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. It's Easter Sunday. We got, we got four baptisms happening right after my Sunday. Not be afraid, because God loves you. 